Declaration of Human Rights and the first article in the Declaration says that all human beings are created equal in dignity and rights and therefore should be treated in a spirit of brotherhood. And uh, we were inspired actually at a U2 concert. Um, I've always loved the way U2 has been about more than just the music, you know, it's like they've taken that platform of the music and instead of just shining the light on themselves, they've sort of shone it on other issues and other things going on. And so when we were starting, we thought, you know what, like if we ever get to a point where we have a bit of a platform where people are coming to our shows, wouldn't it be cool to raise awareness of different things going on in the world? So um, right from the get-go, we actually partnered with organizations like World Vision and Compassion, and tonight we're actually going to be uh, in the middle of our show sharing about Compassion. And uh, it's just sort of something we've always thought would be a cool thing to do. So I guess it just comes from a desire to uh, hopefully through our music make the world a better place, but then also through what we talk about make the world a better place too. Yeah, as a band, I think we sponsor, I think there's four of us, and I think we actually sponsor uh, four kids. And um, I sponsor a little boy in Ecuador, his name is Donis. And uh, we write back and forth. And I'm actually, uh, it's not official, but uh, I think there's a really good chance, I've sort of heard through the grapevine that there's a really good chance I'll be able to go and visit him and meet him in February. So I'm uh, sort of crossing my fingers and hoping that works out. <laughs> I think as a, as a Christian, it's sort of the biggest, uh, you know, next to Christmas, which is about the birth of uh, Jesus. Easter is such a huge thing in that it's sort of about the death and, and resurrection. So I think for me, um, it's just a, it's just one of those times where I think it's it's like sort of every every year. It's just so great to sort of slow down and just remember exactly what uh, what Jesus did for us. And so I think for me, Easter is really just about remembering all those things, um, you know, why we're here, why we believe what we believe, uh, what it's all about. And uh, I think too, as normally, you know, we're home and we get the whole family together and it's, so it's really cool to do that as a family, um, but this year I guess we're doing it with adopted Australian families. So. Representing Sydney, the best city in Australia, so put your hands in the air, and you guys got to sing with us, all right? With all Well, actually, yesterday we, um, like, we just came through four months of the snowiest winter on record. We had, like, they called it Snowmageddon in December, where we got, like, four feet of snow, and it didn't melt till like, two weeks ago. So, yesterday we went, uh, we were in Wollongong, and we went down to the beach, and we just, actually, I got a bit of a sunburn, but, like, to just sit on the beach, on the ocean, with the wind coming in, the waves there, we got a boogie board and we went out. It was just amazing. Like the beaches here were so good. And then also the day before, we saw our first kangaroo in the wild. So uh, that was kind of cool because you know it's one of those things that growing up you always hear, oh Australia, they've got these kangaroos, they've got these koalas, and then you come. Like last year we came, I didn't see a single kangaroo, didn't see a single koala. You know, barely had any time to go to the beach, so it was really cool to sort of do all those things this year. And then I think the last thing is just uh, hearing all the accents. When the little kids come up to you after a show, they're like, hey, come on, have a friend. You'd be like, you're the most adorable thing I've ever seen. So uh, it's been great to just sort of hang out, hear all the different words and mix-ups that happen at cafes and stuff because of the English, Eng you know, Canadian English versus the Australian English. And we have a bass player named Marty, and it's like Marty. Everyone always calls him Marty. Oh, who's in the place? Marty. Yeah, well, we released uh, Clarity, which is the record that's out now in October. And so um, it's been doing well, and we've been out touring that. And so coming up when we get back, we've got some camps, we've got some conferences back in Canada and back in the States, and uh, we actually just released a new single back home, and actually also over here too, so I Love You More is a new single that's out, 
So just sort of touring in support of that is sort of what's next. The biggest thing is we're coming back with a bunch of new songs and um, you know I think our show is just a really fun show. It's very high energy, Matt's insane on the violin and you know it's just we try to make it fun for people who've seen us before but also fun for those people who haven't. So I think that just expect a lot of energy, expect a lot of fun, lots of crazy violin and you'll have a good time.